champion? Are you perhaps trying things in your own strength and you pushing, you grinding, you sweating, but nothing's happening? If so, stay tuned. Someone on Mzanze, Tobela Mzanze, Dumela Mzanze, Bon Dea. I've got a so good day today to all of you talented, gifted, and potential folk, campeones, champions out there. My name is William George Moises, and welcome to King and Me. Hashtag Motivational Mondays. My brother's already motivated and pumped up here, as you guys can tell. And you're joining me today is Tando Champ. So good to have you here, bro. Thank you so much, so man. Good. Such a pleasure, man. Man, I, I dig really the jacket, that. bro. We are the men in black. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? There we go, man. Yeah, so man. good, so good to, to have you Thank you so much, here. bro. It's such, it's such an honor for me to be here, man. Sure, to man. be part of this God's movement. Oh, amen. I mean? Praise God. Praise yeah, God, man. man. So we've been touching on some mistakes that we've made. So we'd love to just, yeah, maybe just a, just one mistake that you've made in your life and how the Lord has just taught you yeah. through that. Yeah, exactly. Um, I lost my parents by the age of 11 years. Man. Both yeah. of them, they were gone. Yeah. And then I uh, uh, went to a foster home of the dead. When I went there, everything was good. I got myself a scholarship. Mm. I went into I went to West Africa and then I came back. When I came back, I was in university first year. First year, I got mm. my inheritance, man. And you know, I from squandered your dad, it. From, you, from, from your dad's side? From my dad's side, yeah. Okay. It was like a provident fine, to be specific. Oh, yeah. And okay. trust me, man, I, I messed everything up in about eight months. And I lost it like in a, in a split second, like pop. So then from there, um, I had to now get myself out because I wanted to prove a point. To mm. like, you know what, I'm still the guy, man. Mm. So I found myself in the street of Pretoria while hustling okay. to get back to the top. Sure. But everything that I touched on, I just lost it. I couldn't, mm. I couldn't. Mm. And I was like, no man, you know, I, I know deep inside that I'm supposed to get this, but I couldn't get over it. And I realized that, no, that was God trying to talk to me. Mm. And I went mm. to, to a seminar where the pastor talked about, sometimes we need to listen to God. Sure. That was the lesson. And I felt that yeah. you know, when you say it, God is talking, but we never listen. Yep. And I realized that for everything that I was trying to do myself, mm. it was just being cut. I needed to listen to God because He wanted to lead me in a different way. Mm. I, I he, had my, he had His own plans on yeah. me, not for me to have my own sure. plans. So, sure. man, what I learned was that I don't need to be in control. Mm. I have to let God to be in control. Instead mm. of saying, I got it, I have to say He's got it. That's it. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. He's got it. Man, uh, <laughs> <yo>. <laughs> there we go. There yeah. we go. Because That's ultimately, champs out there, there's no answer in ourselves. We cannot do this in our own strength. Precisely. We are called for a relationship with our Lord. Yeah. So look to Him, turn to Him, believe in Him, and call upon the name of Jesus. And just know today, that your life matters, both to God and to us. Yeah.